Life. Sometimes it happens so fast that you don't remember what you were doing five seconds ago. And before you know it, you're at death's door. Sometimes sooner than you expected. But that's when you have to dig. You find something to live for. But to do this, you have to be willing and able. That's me, Theodore Willing. My mom thought the name was cute, but it only got me beat up as a kid. Now, I go by Will. And that guy, well that's Abel. He's a man of few words, but he still manages to get his point across. The two of us are partners. We've been working together for a while. We're in the business of uh, helping others out, making sure they stay loyal. And sometimes they need a little motivation. The motivating what Abel does best. He takes pride in his work. We're both easygoing guys. But there's just some things that get to us. For Abel, it's when people beg or ask questions. It really gets him worked up. And when he's worked up, there's no telling what'll happen next. As for me, well, I hate that Abel's car only fits one body in the trunk. Like this oversized snitch who saw us doing a job. We still gotta go back and get his friend after we finish up here. <laughs> and that means lunch is gonna get pushed back. An hour, maybe two? Who knows? All I know is, it doesn't make me very happy. But it has its good sides too. Like when it comes to chasing down punks who don't wanna pay up. Why do they always run? Don't they know running gets you nowhere? Especially when you're being chased by a car. Oh, and it's also good for clearing your stomach. Makes room for more food. God, I love food. But for Abel, the one thing he loves most in this world is Sarah. I'll never forget the first day he laid eyes on her. It was the only time Abel was distracted while doing his job. She was gorgeous. Heck, even the guy getting a beating couldn't look away. But after he finished the job, he made sure he caught up with her. And the rest is history. At first, he wasn't very open. In fact, he didn't say a word. But eventually, he loosened up a bit. And before too long, he showed his love in his own way. It's gorgeous. But back to business. You see, the way it goes, we're the ones doing work for the old guys who call the shots. But we aren't the only ones. That's Cruz. He's a heavy hitter from Cuba. Known for his artistic style. And that's Brick. He got the name after beating a cop half to death with one. But he's a really nice guy. Together we handle all the jobs across the city and are responsible for keeping things running smoothly. But it was time for us to call our own shots. So we planned one last job. 
wanted to pay the boss off, and then jump cities to start our own business. Simple enough. What could go wrong? Why can't it ever be simple? Of course we run into some monkeys jumping around all over the place. Afterwards we went to drop the package off at the boss's location. The boss had his hands in everything. People think the governors and mayors run this city, but they're all on his payroll. We all worked for him. Ran his errands, made his money, took a piece and said thank you. Aldo Salvatore. He doesn't look like it, but he runs this whole city. Been doing his dirt now for a while, but it's finally coming to an end. I'm glad it is too. You were successful, huh? Because this guy loves to talk. That's good. I mean, he just goes on and on and on. I'm just running the Honestly, I don't know what he was saying. Running the American dream. I was really too hungry to listen. He said something about last I checked. This is still America. I don't know. The only the problem, punks? Abel and the boss well, have history. Choices, Abel killed off a rival boss's wrong. son. Since then, there's been conflict, but, but Abel was good. too good to let go. I got some other work coming up for you but now that doesn't matter. Now go on, we knew we were on borrowed time. We'll be in touch. We just had to leave quick. The next night, some of Salvatore's men came after Abel. They took Sarah from him. They should have left her out of this. That was a mistake. Word got around quick that Abel escaped to find Sarah. Where is she? I met up with Cruz and Brick to make plans to leave town.
After getting Sarah back, he headed to Aldo's place to finish this once and for all. But Aldo planned for this. Leave him alone. Haven't you ever heard of the First Amendment? Freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom to assemble. On his way up to finish Salvatore, Abel ran into a recruit. The recruit asked if he ever thought to join. Now usually Abel would be upset, but he respects the military for what they do because his father was a military man. But it just wasn't the life for him. Abel tortured the boss for hours before finally killing him. But it brought us a lot of heat. As we had set out to leave the city, we were cut off. It seems like our numbers were up. But this is our last chance to take back what's ours, to finally be free. And we ain't going without a fight. Sometimes it happens so fast that you don't remember what you were doing five seconds ago. And before you know it, you're at death's door. Sometimes sooner than you expected. But that's when you have to dig. You find something to live for. But to do this, you have to be willing and able. <laughs>